tell you is this um, from the very first day I met you you changed my being you changed my persona and my whole circuit you know I never have seen myself as just me with you I'm plural with you with you I see myself or double. I cannot imagine living my life without you. So, I'm going to ask you this question humbly. Oh my God. <laughs> Mina, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes, Jida, you will. I love you forever, baby. Oh my god.
Judy. Babe. Baby. Babe. Babe. Babe, I'm so glad that you're okay. And don't worry about my eyes. The doctor said it's just for me to rest my eyes. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Uh, okay. In that case, then, uh, baby, just rest your eyes, okay? Yeah. I don't want you to go anywhere. I'll feel better knowing that you're here with me. Baby, I'm going nowhere. I'm going nowhere. I'm here with you. Okay? Okay. I'm here with you. Alright? I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Okay? I'm here. I'm here, okay? I'm okay. here. I'm here. Alright? Mr. Sage, I'll try as much as possible to explain the situation to you. See, a tiny fragment of glass entered our skull through the outer edge of the right temple and severed the large veins. That explains the heavy flow of blood. But luckily, but luckily, the object traveled behind the eyeballs, not causing any serious harm to the vital tissues. But you see, it pierced the bony surrounds of the optic chasma before lodging at the bone sponge. The implication of this, sir, sorry to say, the doctor is blind. Nurse, doctor, please. This um, blindness, is it going to be permanent? For now, yes. And that is why I want to see you discuss with you before talking to her. No, no, no. I will talk to her. I will talk to my daughter. Are you comfortable with that? Yes, I will do the talking. Oh, my, my poor little... I'm so sorry, eh? Nurse! Good day, sir. Yeah, Welcome. thank you very much, yes. My daughter. Daddy. My daughter. When are they going to take off this bandage? I'm ready to go home now. I know, my daughter. You're going to go home. Right? Yes. But, um, sweetheart. Yes, Daddy. There's something we need to discuss. Um, what is it? That, that's, that's something I have to tell you. Okay. I'm listening. Um, telling? You see, um, I'm listening. There's, there's, um, there's, no, there's nothing new under the surface of the sun. And um, all, all, all things happen for a reason. I, 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 my darling, just to know that I, I, I will always be by your side, right? Whatever you go through, we will be there to help you mitigate it. Um, Daddy. 
because we know. No. I had earlier asked him to go home and rest. Um, I'll come back in the morning. Same with your mom. Do you... Do you want me to call him back? No. No, Daddy. I just want to go home. It's okay, my dear. Please, take me home. It's okay, my love. I'll take you home. Please give me Mr. Chica's file. No, Sureshi. Um, the patient has been discharged, sir. When? Last night. Last night? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Daddy, uh, only uh, good afternoon. Um, I, I heard she's been discharged from the hospital. Um, may I go in and see her? She in the room? Sir, may I go in and see Mina? Sir, Nina, can I go see her, please? Um, something has happened, Jude. Mina doesn't want to see you again. But, but why? Well, what have I done? Why, 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 why wouldn't she want to see me again? Mina is blind. Totally blind. There's no way her sight can ever be restored. Can, can, I, can I just see her, please? Please, sir. <laughs> Mina has gone into a dark world of her home. A place where we can't follow her. Okay. I think we should respect her decision. You should also respect her too. <laughs> sir, please. Please, I beg you. I beg you, sir. I beg you, please. Where is she? Let no. me go see her. No. She <laughs> You need to understand that for you, now, Mina is dead. At least those were her exact words. So, Mina, have you decided what it's going to be? Because he's going to go back to that hospital tomorrow and he will be informed that you've been discharged. And he will definitely come to this house to see you. Tell him I'm dead. Minas! Tell him I'm dead. And he must only remember me for when I was alive. Tell him I charge him on our love. All we share and everything we've believed in. That he would let me be. He would not look for me. For nothing will come out of this now. That's an irrational decision. It's not right. It would devastate him. He should find solace in the memory we shared. 
Please, Daddy. Promise me. Promise me you won't let him see me this way. Mina. Mina. Daddy, please. I want to hear you say it. Promise me. Promise me he won't see me in this helpless state. It will only break him the more. Please, help me preserve the memory he has of me. Please, Daddy. Alright. I promise. Thank you, Daddy. Please, can you go now? I would love to be left alone.
Look, man, you have to get a hold of yourself. I know you're going through a lot. And you're hurting. At this rate, you pose a threat to yourself. And I'm pretty sure she wouldn't be happy seeing you this way. You don't understand. You don't understand. Even me, I don't even understand myself. I don't. I mean, I mean, everything I have worked for, every single thing the way I designed my life, everything has just come to place, but right now collapsed. All collapsed. The worst part is that she doesn't even want to see me. Why? I don't know. Of course it's my fault. Yes, it's my fault. Because why wouldn't she want to see me? It's no, no, no. It's, my fault. it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself, man. Yeah? Don't do it. This is not on you. It's my fault. Look, this thing is my it's fault. It's fault. my fault. It's not your fault. Guys, it's my fault. Are you telling me calm down? It's not your fault. Where's this Stop now? it. Stop it. Then do. Then free me, I beg. See, this is my fault. It's my fault. There's nothing anybody can tell me. It's my fault. It's my fault. Are you coming to the table for lunch, or should I bring it here? I'm not hungry. Why are you doing this to yourself? You are obviously hurting. You still miss him. And yet you won't let him see you. But he keeps coming. Every day. It's not fair what you're doing to him. He's deeply hurting. And so do I, Mom. So do I. Then why won't you see him? Because what was before can never be again. To never feel the same again. Anything he does now would be out of pity. And then he'll start to loathe me. Why prolong the agony? I can't marry him now. It would be a great burden to him. I know he wouldn't want to come to terms with reality. But it's the truth. He's too young to be tied to a blind woman. They say, if you love something, you let it go. Letting him go more. He deserves to be happy. I can no longer make him happy. Not for too long. <laughs> when next he comes. In this, it's no longer mine to keep. But my question is why? Why does she reject me? She knows. She knows there's no hope for this. And she's right. She can't be what you expect of a wife now. Please, don't, don't say this. Please, I beg of you, don't say this. Don't say this. I still want to marry her. I want to marry her and I can get her as many servants as she wants. I mean, whatever it requires. Listen to me. You are young. Ambitious. She cannot fit into your world now. Right now, your head is in the clouds. But it's only a matter of time. And whatever it is you're feeling will die. And then what? 
you start to detest her. And that's something she cannot bear. It's not possible. Why well, I can't detest her? I can never ever detest her for what somebody I want to marry. I still want to marry her. Nothing has changed. Matter of fact, my feelings for her are stronger right now that she is even blind. I mean, why is she doing this? I mean, she, uh, with due respect, I'll say this. I mean, she's not even considering, you know, how I feel on the outside, how I feel on the inside with this decision she's making. I am hurt. I'm disturbed. She's my world. Please. Let her stop this. Please help me tell her I love her. I want to be with her. I want to marry her. Nothing has changed. Um... She wanted you to have this. She said it's best if you don't come here anymore. There's nothing here for you. Not anymore. Oh, babe, please. Huh? Eve, please, Eve, please. Just, just help me. Help me, help me see her, please. Julia, I can't help you. She made me promise, like she made me promise not to help you because she knew we were going to do this exact thing now. Mm, but you I know like... I love her now, you know, you are for people you know. Yeah, I know, I know you love her and she loves you too, trust me. But that's why she's doing what she's doing, she doesn't want you to feel kids. She wants you to be happy, I cannot. <laughs> look, look, boy, you, you look... about you, don't adjust. No, you don't tell that. me to adjust now, don't tell me this, don't tell me this. Come on, you, I mean you can't hear yourself out, she's wrong now. You are for people, you know she's wrong, she's wrong. Jide, she wants you to be happy. She wants your happiness. Ah, Jide, you need to let, let this girl go. Forget about it. No, I forget what? I, I can't forget her. No, it's impossible. Forget who? I mean, this girl completes me. She's my life. I mean, why are you saying this? I mean, come on now. It's not fair. Why, I mean, why wouldn't she even allow me to see her? Why? Well, no. Jide, you know why? Jide, you know that you're her weakness, and if she lets you come around her, she will start to care for you again. She doesn't need it. She doesn't want all these emotions. Jide, no. you understand? Okay, well, how do you want me to understand? Look, okay, 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 okay. Are you going to do me this favor? Jide, you're putting me in a fit. No, no, are you oh going to do me this favor, please? God. Okay, just, 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 just tell her. Eh? T tell her. Tell her I love her. You understand? Tell, you know, make a way, make a way for me to tell her. Let me prove this love to her. What am I even saying? Look, I'm go look, I love this girl now. I love this girl. I, what, it's not fair. Why wouldn't she allow me to see her? This is wrong now. My love for her supersedes all, the, all, all, all this nonsense yeah. now. Oh, yeah, I will tell her. I will, huh? tell, I will tell her. You will? Yes, this is wrong, but I will tell her. And you get back to me? Yes, I will. I will tell her. I'm serious. When? Once I tell her, I'll call you. I met with Jide. How is he? He looks pale. I mean, he still has handsome as ever, and he wants me to give him a message. What's the message? Minajide is still in love with you. He still wants you. He still wants to be with you. He still wants this wedding to go on. Jide is hurting Mina. He even wants to see you. He wants to try and convince you to go on with the wedding. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He needs me to give him feedback. Like I need to get back to him. Mina. What, 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 what? I understand what you're going through. But you have to pull yourself together. We are losing deals. And the company is losing millions by the day. Femi, it's my company. Okay? I built the company from the scratch. So if the company goes down, I know how to revive it. If the company loses millions, I know how to get everything right back. Okay? But do you know what Mina has lost? 
No, no, no. Do you know what she has lost? What she has lost, nobody can bring back. All right? So you have no moral justification to tell me to pull myself together. Please, let's go. Let, let's drive you to where we're going. Please. Please, I don't want to indulge in this discussion. Please. All right. I see you when I close my eyes and I know you're so beautiful. I don't care what you say Oh, how did they feel You're still beautiful Yeah, yeah Eve Hello? Yes, Eve, um, um, what did she say? I'm sorry, GD, I know this is not what you're expecting to hear if, if, please, 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 just talk to me. What did she say? She said I should tell you the story about the sable antelope. I mean, I know I don't know what it means, but she said you understand. What's that animal? Well, it's a saddle antelope. You see, Sedula antelopes move together in a herd. If one is hurt, the rest will chase away from them. Why is that? Well, because it's hurt. And they don't like anything slowing them down. That's it. I mean, it's like life. If you're a winner and you want to remain a winner, what you do is get losers out of the way so they don't slow you down. Their despair is quite contagious and that's real. And as for me, I've applied that to my life principles and guidelines. <laughs> well... That is ruthless. Well, that is life. That's life. Lose us away. Hello? Jide? Jide, are you there? Hello, Jide? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, do you know what she's talking about? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I, I understand. I understand. GD, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I understand, Eve. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. <laughs>
Hello? Hello? What? Ah, it's a miracle that he's even still breathing. Wow. The result of the test carried out on him showed that he had a high percentage of alcohol in the system. Judging from the impact of the accident, he was driving on a very high speed while heavily intoxicated. Well, we induced coma to stop the swelling of his brain. Once his condition gets stabilized, we will know what next to do. Though I'm afraid it doesn't look good. Doctor, please do everything you can for him. Mm. Anything at all. Please, Definitely, doctor, we will. We will. But I must warn you. His condition is very critical. What is all this now? Why does Jide do what? Jide, Jide, Jide. It's a miracle that you are alive. No one would have believed that. Meanwhile, a lot can still be achieved to enhance your look through reconstructive surgery. Fortunately, there's no loss of uh, any of your faculties. And it's good you are responding to treatment. Doctor, months under the knife and needles, constant medication, the smell never ending in my nostrils. All I just want right now is to see what I look like. I need a mirror. We intentionally removed the mirror in your bedroom. But um, a nurse will bring one to you. Hmm? It's all right, OK? Good.
I'm going to Suck them. Okay, boss. What's up? You heard him. You're fired.
sit down. It's okay. So, uh, how are you? I'm, I'm fine. I came around. I came as often as I could. But they won't let me see you. But Femi kept in touch and he told me that they just discharged you last week. But I wasn't in town and I just, I came back last night. But Judy, what were you thinking? Like that was so reckless of you. Truth is I wasn't thinking. I was angry. Angry at everything, everything. I just wanted it all to end. Jida, you didn't think that this would shatter her? Like, did you think of what this would do to her? How is she? She's fine. She's fine. And her eyes, any, any development, any improvement? No, Jide. But I mean, she's adjusting. She's learning to live with it. All the time I was at the hospital, did she visit? She did, she didn't know. I didn't tell her. All this time? Jide, I couldn't bring myself to tell her. Like, you need to see her. She's happy again. She's smiling. Like, she has adjusted. I wasn't going to tell her this. Like, I'm really, I'm really sorry, but I couldn't tell her. Life. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I thought it was the best thing to do. How could you not tell me, Eve? Four months in the hospital. I just told you I thought it was the right thing to do. So why are you telling me now? Has anything happened to him? Minajiri has changed drastically. He's not as you know him. I don't understand. Jide is scarred. He's hiding away from the world. He's hiding away from the way people think of him. He's hiding from himself. But there's one person that does not see his scars. One person that will only remember him the way he used to be. I mean, Jide needs you now. Needs you more than ever. <sighs> You're the only one that can bring him succor. You're the only one that will see him for who he was. Please change your mind, please. I beg you. Please. Eve. Please. Take me to him. Are you serious? Can we go now? Yes. Bina, you don't really have to do this, you know. Daddy, Daddy, please, let me go to him. He needs me now. I can't turn my back on him. Please.
Mina, what's the problem? I don't know, Eve. What if he doesn't want to see me? What if he hates me now? I mean, I hurt him. Mina. Mina, there's nobody, and I mean nobody, that Jide wants to see right now. In fact, you're the only one that Jide wants to see now. Let's go. Are you sure? I mean, I'm with you. I'm sure. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Small, small. Today. Jide. My fingers tell me that you're still handsome. They lie to you. I'm sorry I hurt you. I was only protecting us. Protecting the memory we had. You understand why I did what I did, don't you? I love you so much, Jide. I was going to sacrifice that love just for your happiness. I didn't want you tied to a blind girl. And you thought I would without you. You thought I could live without you. You're my world. My world revolves around you. I love you. When you left me, it was the worst moment in my life. The worst moment. A feeling I never, ever want to feel again. I'm never going to leave you again today. Ever. Then marry me. You already asked me once. Well, I'm asking again. And it's a yes. Again. I love you too. <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Ah. Um, sir, I understand you're, you're in a hurry to go out, uh, as you said. Um, but, sir, um, not to waste too much of your time, sir. Uh, it's very obvious that uh, uh, my intentions are very well known. So, sir. Um, having said that without wasting your time, as I also know, understand tradition, sir, um, it is <laughs> an imperative, <laughs> sir, I, I ask for Mina's hand in marriage, sir. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, is there anything I can say or do to stop it from happening? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so you have my blessings. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You have my blessings. Thank you, sir. The most beautiful thing about our love is our scars. It tells our story more than words ever could. A tale of love, trust, passion, and confidence. A love found lost and found again. A love made perfect through our imperfections. A love that would stand the test of time. I love you today. Fiercely, passionately, and endlessly. 
from the very first day I set my eyes on you, I fell into your soul. In your soul, I call my abode. I call my home. I call my peace. What we have is not regular. It's a true testimony of true love. And I say this today, in front of everybody here and before God. I love you fiercely. I love you passionately. And I love you endlessly. Oh well, by the power vested in me as a pastor of the Most High God, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Good morning, Mrs. Eloka. Good morning, Mr. Eloka. How was your night? Fine, thank yeah. you. What's that aroma? Well, your husband made you breakfast. Oh, babe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> mm, babe. All right. All right. You have to eat now, okay? Yeah. Thank you. All right. I could get used to this, you know. Well, luckily you are married to me, so I am at your service 24-7. Not when you'll be back at work. Well, I'm not going back to the office because I have put my workstation here. Yes, I'll be working from home. Perks of being a CEO. <laughs> lucky me. It would be easy for me to visit you at work. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> okay, honey, please, I have a Zoom meeting. I have to go. I hate to leave you now, but I'll join you later, okay? Okay. All right? Okay. okay. All right, eat, okay? Eat, eat. Okay. Be careful, it's quite hot, okay? okay? It's quite hot. That's the tea right there. Yeah. Okay? That's the tea right there. It's quite hot, okay? Okay? Easy, yeah. easy. Are you okay? Yes, I'm you fine. You sure? Yes. You sure? Okay, I'm okay. Can I go? Yes. All right, go. Go. Okay. Thank you. You take care. Easy. Yeah. All right.
I didn't get a response from you on my last mail. Oh, really? But I thought I responded to your every mail. I don't understand. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You sent it this morning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Basically, it's about uh, Chinese investors arriving in the country next month. Okay. And they're meeting with board members. I sent the logistics for the planned welcome dinner at Sheraton. Okay, all right. Uh, what I'll do is I'll reconcile this with your mail and get back to you. Okay? All right. Yeah. Hey. Babe. Yes, honey. Uh, MM is done helping me set the dining, so you both might want to come. Okay, honey. Thank you. Okay. She's amazing. Yeah, 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 of course she is. It's now, amazing how she does this. I'm telling you. You know, the wonderful thing is, I have never seen anybody as self-dependent as she is. No woman at all. She is so self-sufficient likewise. You see, despite the fact that MM helps her out with the cooking, she makes sure that the ingredients are put to the detail. I'm telling you. Now, um, she doesn't like to be kept waiting, okay? Please, let's go and eat. I don't want our problems. Please, let's go. Let's I go. can hear you. I'm blind, not deaf. Darling? Babe. Babe. Oh my God. You're still feverish. Yes, babe. I have to call Femi to take you to the hospital. Why don't you take me to the hospital yourself? I understand. Call Eve to so both of them can take me to the hospital. Babe? Hey, baby. Babe. Yes, honey. Where is uh, Ivan uh, Femi? Where are they? They left immediately. They dropped me. Okay. Babe, guess what? What? Guess what? Just guess. Oh, babe, you know I'm not that good at this guessing thing. Please, please, just save me. Okay, fine. The doctor said that I'm pregnant. What? We are going to have a baby. I'm going to be a father? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to be all oh my days. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are, what, what are we celebrating? What of are we course, drinking? What are we course. drinking? Um, let's go to ballroom and celebrate. Huh? Babe, yes. You know, that's where we met. I would love to relive that memory again. I mean, we've been holed up in this house for six months. We're in danger of becoming recluses. Please. I'm, I'm babe. Babe, babe. Uh, no, see. don't don't say no to me. You know what? I'll just go and change anything. We are going to celebrate, baby. I'm coming, okay? <laughs> I'm so excited. I see you when I close my eyes and I know you're so beautiful. I don't Care what you say, oh, how did they feel? You're still Baby, beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm going out. I'm set. You're going out? Yeah, yeah. Where are you going to? You see, um, there's this uh, document I have to give to the company secretary. It's in the company's vault. I'm the only one with a password, so it requires me to be there in person. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You go well. What's this? A mask? Mm. 
Listen, babe. When we first met, you told me it was my smile that drew you to me. But it was actually your confidence that captivated me. I have never seen a man so sure of himself, so sure of his place in this world. So, today, I want you to know that you're the most handsome man in the world. Don't let the world tell you nothing, okay? is beautiful. Well, aren't you lucky? I wish I could see you all bossy again. It's a sight I have missed. I'll be back before you know it. Hmm. I wouldn't even know that you're gone. I've got great company. <laughs> Come on, go ahead. My Prince Charming. I love you. I love you too. I love you. I love you. Where? We'll be waiting for you. My Prince Charming. Okay. See you. See you.
Good day, ma'am. Good day, ma'am. I'll be checking out in the next one now, okay? Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, bye. Here you go, ma'am. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma'am. I thought I lost it. Well, you thought wrong, ma'am. You see, here at Ballroom Lounge and Hotels, mm -hmm. our customers' safety is our topmost priority, wow. security-wise and otherwise. You see, our workers are carefully selected, and mm -hmm. we do background checks every now and then to be sure everybody is well-behaved. So if at any point you forget something or something goes missing here, be rest assured that it will be here whenever you come back waiting for you. Wow. I'm so proud that there is a place like this you can trust these days. You're always welcome here, ma'am. <laughs> well, I'll definitely come back. <laughs> sure. Thank um, you. One more thing. Okay, ma'am. That guy by the poolside, is he lodged here? Oh, yes, he's lodged here, ma'am. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Let me have my key. <laughs> oh, nice, ma'am. Um, let me just quickly check you back in. Okay. Here you go. Are you paying cash or card? Card. Okay. You're a nice saver. <laughs> no problem, ma'am. Thank you so much. Please put your pen. Definitely. <laughs> Hi. My name is Mandy. Hi. May I sit? Why not? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I saw you sitting all by yourself, so I thought to join you and be friends with you. You're bold. Mm. What is there about you not to like? Mm. <laughs> so, uh, mm. what are you doing here? Oh, <laughs> I came in for my company seminar. Oh. You? A business meeting and uh, fun, if any. <laughs> so, uh, you care for anything? Sure. <laughs> so tell me, um, how do you see this place? Oh, this is a really nice place. You know, top-notch customer service. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> about <gasps> fish! I love their fish! Oh my goodness! <laughs> mm. Hey! <laughs> Hey, uh, aren't you dressed yet? 
Dressed? Why? What do you mean, why? So I could drop you off. Drop me off? <laughs> Did I say I was ready to leave? Moreover, I'm going to start cooking for you in a jiffy. Cooking for me? Mm-hmm. And why would you cook for me when I have a cook? Is it wrong to cook for my boyfriend? Huh? <laughs> All right, stop. What? Hold on, stop. <laughs> boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I never said we were dating. Do you have to say anything before we start? This is 21st century. People just start dating once they hook up. Moreover, you brought me home with you, so I thought you wanted something deeper. Listen, I am old school, okay? If I want a girl, I will ask her out properly, all right? Look, what we had was a fling, okay? That's it. <laughs> I never knew you had other intentions. But you said I was beautiful. Of course you're beautiful and you can get any man you want. Okay? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for misleading you, all right? Um, you know what? Just name your price, okay? Let me make a transfer to you immediately. Sorry for misleading you. <laughs> We're dating, please stop. <laughs> what a joke. What's your account detail, please? Or bank. Forget anything. Babe. Here, babe, babe, I feel someone is in the house. No, it's not MM. She went to the market. I don't know. I, 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 I hear footsteps. I feel someone is in the house. Who is here? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who is here? wasn't ready to call me, but then he met you and committed to you. If it wasn't for you, he would have come look for me and love me. No, no, no. This was supposed to be mine. Everything here, mine! Hands up! 
Move! Move! Babe. Emiko Kafo, please come. Step on this. Come with me. Yes, yeah, staff. Oh, what about the medical that I actually report? Yes, oh, doctor. So, how is she? Yeah, she's stable. Uh, no fractured bones, and but it's a pity. She had a miscarriage, so we had to evacuate. But not to worry, it's okay. You can see her, but after she has been moved to the ward. It's well. Uh, so, you said the report is not ready. Please, I need it, okay? Just, just relax. Everything will be fine, okay? Okay? Everything will be okay. Okay. Yeah. Following the trauma she has passed through over time, I will advise if you notice any sign of light sensitivity in her eyes, headache or pains of any type, please give me a call. I'll be there. Please. Very important. Of course. This is going to stop. It's been two weeks. Two weeks you keep staring into space. Two weeks you don't talk. Two weeks you've not eaten. I'm sorry for everything that has happened. Please, come back. Come back. I mean, let's thank God. I lost my baby. No, baby, we lost our baby. We lost our baby. And soon another one will come. Let's believe that. Another one will come. Please. Come back. I mean, thank God right now, there's no danger anymore. Nothing disturbs our peace. It's all over. My love, I want you back. I want your smile again. That smile that lights me up. That smile that gives me confidence. I've missed us. Please, come back. This is hard for me, Judy. This is hard for me. Please, please, please. 
please will pull this through. Please. We will pull this through. Please. worse when I make a sudden movement. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, Alright, honey, um, please just relax. I'll get you painkillers, okay? Okay? Okay. Babe? Yeah? How are you? I'm okay. I've been looking for you. Yeah, I came out here to sit for a while. I wanted to calm my nerves. Oh, the headaches again? Yes. I've been having this terrible headache. Sorry, let me help you out with it, okay? Mm, okay. All right. Yes, and your observation of light sensitivity is correct. And what it obviously meant is that the optic nerves had partial disconnection. The head blow she had activated some functions. Yes, that is good. So. I have to re-examine her to find out the extent of her recovery and possible surgery. But that's good, it don't look sad. It's good news. I'm happy myself for making progress. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, so good. Please, sorry. At no cost, at no time, should we now be made to know that there's any slightest opportunity of her regaining her sight again, even via surgery. But that's unfair. That's going to be very unfair to her. If there's any way she can regain her sight, she should be made aware of it. <laughs> 
I will determine what is fair, sir. She's my daughter. She is my wife. I know her. I know what she feels. I understand her thought process. I know the way she thinks. We have already attained a level of happiness. And I don't want that dampened or destroyed because, because there's any, any kind of silly hope of her regaining her sight again. No. Level of happiness? <laughs> level of happiness? With you people shutting yourselves away from the world? By, by hiding away? That's not a level of happiness. That's a dream state. It's our world. Our real world. Our scarred world. A world I and Mina live in that you do not understand. If I was selfish, I wouldn't have made anybody know that there's an opportunity for her to even regain her sight again. Why? I mean, why? How does her regaining her sight possibly affect you? Why would you do that? You ask me. Look at me. See what I look like. We played this on my own terms. It's okay. I, I can take care of myself. It's fine. I said it's fine. Okay. Um, I told Dr. Lucas about your constant uh, headaches and he advises you come to the hospital so you can run some tests. It's just headaches. I don't need to see a doctor. Oh my dear, the headaches have been too consistent. Okay? I've been too consistent. Especially after your attack. Come on, he says tomorrow, so I'll make sure you go there tomorrow. That's it. You worry too much, Jide. And I've noticed a change in your mood recently. It's like you're here, but not here. Like you have something that you're terribly worried about. Almost like you're frightened. I'm frightened. I'm frightened. I'm frightened about the way I love you. I'm frightened. I'm scared I might lose you. I'm, I'm scared you, you might leave me. And you just go away. It scares me. It scares me. Come here. I'm never going to leave you. I love you. I'm scared. I'm scared. You don't have to be.
Well, my conclusion without doubt is that certain functions of the optic nerve still remains and conveying impulses to the brain. The shock of the impact she received may also have altered the position of the bone fragment. But still, it conveys minimal amount of impulse to the brain. So that's good news. So what's the next step, doctor? Open skull surgery. Open skull surgery? Exactly that. Doctor, please. What are her chances? 50-50. Doctor, please, I, I need you to elaborate a whole lot further. What was the worst that could happen? Well, the worst is already happening to her. She's blind and nothing can change it. So, gentlemen, what's your decision? Uh, so, uh, Doc, um, what's the situation? Yeah, the situation is good. Very good. Very, very encouraging. And yeah. how long did you say she would get to see? Well, you know, it's not automatic. So we are looking at two to three weeks' time. The nurse will start sending all sort of messages, images in form. And by then, I think she will start seeing red picture. So it's very encouraging. So, but I know she's okay. Congratulations. Congress. That's good. Hmm? Congress. Thank you very much, Doctor. Adam. Adam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You had that? Just three weeks. So you will tell her now? No. In two weeks. No, but you had the doctor. She should start seeing images and that will alarm her. Sir. Two weeks. Hey. Hey, I'm, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Okay? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Alright? What's happening to me? Um. Something is happening to me. It's okay. Mm. It's okay, okay? It's okay. I don't know what's happening to me. Colors are filling my head. Baby, don't, don't, don't touch, please. I, I guess the operation was successful. Please don't touch, please. Please, okay? Please. I'm scared. No, 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 you'll be fine. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. I don't care what you say Or how they may feel It's so wonderful Far beyond where my eyes can reach In a place that is so deep where the darkness and the scars don't exist All I know is I was made for you And you were made for me And nothing can... You need to tell her now. She needs to know. 
Not yet. Look, it can happen any moment from now. She needs to be told. I'll tell her when I'm ready. You can't keep running away from this thing. You need to tell her. I've got things to do, sir. Uh, Mr. Luka, let's do the uh, net form. Sign there. Uh, uh, Mr. Luka, please. I don't think uh, we are doing the right thing. I don't understand. I don't think it is right for you to sign 50% uh, shares of your company to your wife. You know, uh, considering that this marriage is not up to one year, and uh, we don't know what tomorrow can be. We don't have children. Barry Steve. Sir. Last I checked, this is my company. Right, Last I checked, you don't have a single percent share in this company. You're right, sir. You didn't build this company with me. So anything I do with this company is my business. It's okay, sir. It is your wish. Keep it that way. Thank you, sir. I see you when I close my eyes and I know you're so beautiful. I don't care what you say. Oh, how did they feel? <laughs> I'm sorry. You came back. You really thought I was going to leave you? If I saw how you looked? How could you think like that? That I'm going to throw away all we share? Remember our scars? are the most beautiful thing about our love. It tells our story, how deep it is, and how strong we are coming out of it. Scarred, yet unscarred. I love you so much today. Fiercely. Passionately. And endlessly. In my world, you're the most handsome man ever. Why? 
Mina. Mina. God knows. God knows. I love you. God knows I love you. I love you too. Well, I just want to thank you, you know. I want to thank you for standing by me, not disappointing me. And mostly, I want to thank you for bringing my confidence back, making me never feel or never feeling less anywhere I go. Thank you. Mm, babe. You are a good man. And you deserve every good thing. To me, you are the most handsome man in the world. Always remember that. You're such an angel. Mm. You know, I know, I'm also trying to get used to this. You know, everywhere I go right now, you... <laughs> You reserve a table? <laughs> Perks of being rich. Mm. You made me a very rich woman, remember? Moreover, I know you always loved hanging out, so I had to do it. So what are we toasting to? To a love made invincible by suffering. I'd say to a love made possible from darkness to dawn. I love you. I love you. Cheers. Cheers. Amen. 